Why is depression so hard to treat? Let me, that's a good question. And let me first separate out two different kinds of depression since we no longer do this anymore. When I was young and learning, I learned there was two kinds of depression. One kind of depression is if bad stuff happens to you and anybody would be depressed in this situation, then you're depressed. That was called exogenous depression. And it came from the outside. Endogenous depression coming from the inside meant, I don't see why you're depressed. There's nothing that bad going on, but you're very negative and down and slowed and can't think and think about killing yourself and stuff. Why are you that bad? And our idea was the people with endogenous depression, those are your chemicals causing it, a pill ought to fix this. And if it was exogenous depression, something in your life, changing your life ought to fix this. Except that it turned out that pills work just as well no matter why you're depressed. So we started, we got rid of that distinction, called everybody just depression, and started giving pills to everybody. At the present time, 14% of all adult Americans have taken antidepressants. This doesn't mean that there's a huge amount of chemical imbalances rolling around in the world. This means there's a lot of common human misery rolling around the world. The label of depression often hides what's causing it underneath. Depression is a final pathway for other things. So for example, you can be depressed because your child is taken away. You can be depressed because you're homeless. You can be depressed because you use a lot of alcohol or speed. You can be depressed because you have schizophrenia, because you went off to the war and were traumatized, because your brain is injured, because you have pancreatitis, because you have diabetes, because your mother died, because you're getting old and weak, because you're in chronic pain, all kinds of stuff. So number one, why is this hard? Because we don't drill down enough. We just say it's depression, here's a pill, and expect that to work. Really, what are the odds of that working if you don't address any of the other things? It just isn't that easy. The question really should be, why are we surprised that depression is hard? Why do we think it should be easy? You come in terribly depressed and a mess and all these things going right, and you really think, like on TV, I'm going to take a pill and then I'll be marching through the flowers. Get serious. How is that going to work? If you act, and then you say, if your pill didn't work, take another pill, or another pill, or a higher dose. We've gotten incredibly pill reliant, and also incredibly reliant, my professional's going to fix me, I'll leave it up to them. If you want to get better from depression, you're going to have to do some stuff of your own. With, pills may help too, but you're going to have to do stuff. And here's a quick list for you of things that, you, that I've gotten this from people who've gotten themselves out of serious depressions. And I've never met anyone who got better without doing any of these things. You don't have to do all of them, but you have to do something. Here's some things you can do. One, talk to other people instead of isolating. I never met anybody who stayed in their room depressed waiting for it to go away and that worked. Two, actually feel your feelings and emotions instead of trying to deaden them, medicate them, avoid them, or get high. You are your feelings and if you just deny those and try to get rid of them, you're getting rid of you and leaving yourself with a dead self. Three. Learn some emotional coping skills. Actually, mental health professionals are quite good at helping with this. Once you're feeling feelings, get better at it. Four, learn how to use medications instead of just taking them. Don't just say, well, the doctor gave me this. I don't know. Learn how to use them. How do they make your life better? There's a lot of different ones, different dosages. Get good at your own meds. Five, start doing stuff that makes you fun and interesting. Either new stuff or stuff you used to do. If you're sitting around doing nothing, you're going to be bored, you're going to be uninteresting, you're going to stay depressed. Six, actually take some responsibility for yourself and stop blaming everybody else. You're going to stay depressed if you're waiting for the rest of the world to be nice to you in some way. My mom did this, the landlord did this, the Republican Party did this, something or other. Take responsibility for your own life. Seven, go to work even when you're not feeling well. Staying at home doing nothing is not a vacation or retirement. It's really demoralizing and keeps you in poverty and with nothing to do with hours. Even if it's hard to get to work, work is incredibly therapeutic, incredibly useful for getting a better life. A do things outside of being a mental patient. Don't have your whole life revolve around doctor visits and pills and day treatment and your board and care of things that happen. Get other things going in your life with people who aren't depressed. Nine, work on your physical health and wellness. People with mental illnesses are dying 20 to 25 years younger than everyone else. A good deal of this is because they're smoking, not exercising, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterols, and hypertension. 
actually get out there and do something for your own physical health. There's been studies, but no one funds these because it doesn't help any drug company, that shows that exercise helps a great deal in being depressed. Of course, who feels like doing exercise when you are depressed? You've got to make yourself do stuff, and then instead of the vicious cycle, you start a positive cycle. Number 10, love other people. You've probably been hurt along the way and rejected and heartbroken and all this stuff. That means you were in love. If you try to protect yourself from bad feelings, you're never going to connect to other people, and loneliness leads to more depression. Here's a really tough one, number 11. Work on acceptance and forgiveness instead of blaming and anger. If you're holding on the past with anger and blaming instead of letting it go through forgiveness and acceptance, you may need spiritual help to do this, you have, then you can get out of the depression. Twelve, give back to others. Help others out and that helps you out. And thirteen, find meanings and blessings in your sufferings and reconnect to God and spirituality. Get the higher source of strength, whatever it is in your life, to get through the depression. Getting out of depression is going to be hard. You're going to have to do a great deal to do it. Any of these things, start them and start the cycle going upwards instead of down.